logarithm of 2 is equal to m and logarithm of 3 is equal to an n. In the first part of the question, they, they are asking us that um, we should express m plus n as a single logarithm. So to do this one, it's very easy. What we are required to do, we need to remember our logarithms. Remember, logarithm of mn simply means that it's logarithm of m plus logarithm of n, right? So since we are given m plus n, m plus n, it simply means that as a logarithm, it was logarithm of 2 times, logarith uh, times 3. Logarithm of 2 times 3, which then uh, gives us logarithm of 2 plus logarithm of 3. I just want to show you how I got my answer, right? So logarithm of 2 plus logarithm of 3. What is logarithm of 2? It's m. And what is logarithm of 3? It's n. So our final solution now for this question, for us to express m, m plus n as a single logarithm, we are simply going to say it's log 6, right? How did we get log 6? We said logarithm of 2 times 3. Okay, I hope you guys were following. I'm going to explain it again. I said logarithm of mn, right? m can be any number, n can be any number. Simply means log m plus log n, okay? That's law number 1. So with the information that we are given here, logarithm of 2 times 3 is the same as it will become logarithm of 2 plus a logarithm of 3. What is the logarithm of 2? It's m. What is the logarithm of 3? It's n. So, m plus n as a single logarithm, it's log 6. Okay. And then the next part of the question, they said express logarithm of 9 in terms of n. Log 9 in terms of n. So, logarithm of 9 in terms of n. So, logarithm of 9 is the same as logarithm of 3 to the power 2 right remember uh, when we have a power we drop our power so it becomes two logarithm of three two logarithm of three what is log three it's n so our final solution is two times n which is two n okay uh part c of the question they said uh find logarithm of one and one over three in terms of m and n so one and one over three it's the same uh let's write this number as an improper fraction we are going to say three times one which is a one one plus uh so three times one which is a three three plus one it's a four so it becomes logarithm of four over three right so logarithm of four over three we are going to say it's log four minus logarithm of three log four with the information that we are given here Logarithm of 4, we can express it as logarithm of 2 to the power 2, uh, we say minus log 3 there. 2 to the power 2, let's drop the power, it becomes 2 logarithm of 2 minus a logarithm of 3. 2 logarithm of 2, we know log 2 is m, so it's going to be 2m minus logarithm of 3, which is a n. So it's 2m minus n. That's it for part C. I hope you guys were following. And then now let's move on to question number 11. I'm going to erase. Question number 11, we are given, we are given that logarithm of 3 is 0, 0,477. Log 3, do we have a base? No. 0, 0,477. And uh, log 5, it's 0, 0,699. Remember, if we don't have a base, it simply means we're in base 10. And part A of the question, they said, um, find logarithm of 15. Part B wants us to find logarithm of 225. Log 225. Okay. Thought about that. Uh, log 15, log 225, followed by log 0, 0,6. Log 15, how are we going to calculate log 15? With the information that we are given with a 3 and a 5. So log 15 is logarithm of 5 times 3. Log 5 times 3 is the same as logarithm of 5 plus 
logarithm of 3. Log 5, we are told it's 0, 0,699. And logarithm of 3, it's 0, 0,477. So we add these two numbers together. 9 plus 7 is a 16. 6 carry 1. 9 plus 7 is a 16 again. Plus 1 is a 17. 7 carry 1. 6 plus 4 is a 10. Plus 1 is a 11. Um, and numbers after the comma is 3. So it's 1, 176 like that. That's for logarithm of 15. What about logarithm of 220?